On the move, I am Tunji Salio. The Ekiti State Security Agency, also known as Amotekun Corps, made a grand entry into the security arena in the state recently when its operatives were formally inaugurated by Governor Kayo Defaimi in Adwekiti. The governor also presented a 2021 appropriation bill to the State House of Assembly. Also, in this week's package is the fulfillment of dreams for many as the newly recruited teachers began a first of its kind induction training to equip them for the task ahead. We will get into all of this right after our quick takes. What culminated in this former inauguration and eventual deployment of Amotekun operatives in the state started when the governors of the six states in the southwest and some leaders began to think of a solution to the growing insecurity in the region. The governors soon met in Ibadan and a security network was launched to rein in on the rampaging criminals and restore confidence in the citizenry who have become apprehensive because of the mounting insecurity in the highways of the Southwest Zone. The Ibadan launch of Western Nigeria Security Network, better known as Amotekun, three of the need for legal framework for the outfit in each of the states. From then on, Ekiti State showed leadership and wasted no time in doing the needful and walking the talk to secure its people. From drafting the bill for the security agency to presenting the bill to the State House of Assembly, holding of public hearing and signing of the law establishing the Ekiti State Security Network, not even the pandemic COVID-19 was able to keep the timely idea even when it delayed it. And here they are, the Amotekun calls. That we are inaugurating today, reported for training on 27 September 2020, and as well as that adequate training to face the task ahead of them. Now, they are ready for the job, and we always operate to complement other security agencies in the state. The task ahead of us is to ensure that insecurity in our diaspora is reduced to the current minimum. If not completely or crime, it is safe, it is no longer safe for criminals and they should flee immediately. Governor Fiamin retreated the place of the security network and admonished the operatives to operate within the law. Today is significant in our history as a state and a people. As we inaugurate the security agency codenamed Amotekun, I congratulate the management and graduating personnel of Amotekun for the success of their prerequisite training. Amotekun in Equity State, and indeed in the whole of the Southwest, is a child of necessity. 
the collective curse of intoxicating and indeed the Yoruba race to solve and address the security challenge in our state imposes the need to strengthen our security network through community policing. For the umpteenth time, I hereby reiterate that Amoteku is not a substitute for any of the existing security agencies. Amoteku is here to strengthen our general security architecture by collaborating and synergizing with all existing security agencies to ensure security and safety of lives and property of Ekitikete using local knowledge and intelligence. Amotekun is established to ensure the safety and freedom of not only Ekiti, Indigen, or Yoruba people, but everyone resident within and around Ekiti State. It is to protect and safeguard all within our state and indeed within our zone, irrespective of where you come from. Ekiti Kete, this is our own. Amotekun is yours and mine, and its functionality depends largely on your cooperation. Be your brothers and sisters keeper, and disseminate information to Amotekun's core on time to enable them to respond as quick as possible to spot and apprehend criminals. To Amotekun core, whilst congratulating you once again for your successful training, I enjoin you to shun any act that can tarnish or rubbish the image and purpose of Amotech. You are expected to live above board and respect the oath of your office. On this note, Excellency, Right Honorable Speaker, KBSC, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to formally launch the Equity State Security Network Agency, Amotekun Corps, to the glory of God and the security and safety of all our people. Alale Equity, Agbea. The security and welfare of citizens shall be the primary purpose of government, so affirms the 1999 Nigerian Constitution as amended. So, from security, let's go to finance, as Governor Faimi recently presented the 2021 appropriation bill to the State House of Assembly. Here are the highlights. Governor Fayemi acknowledged the harmonious relationship between the legislative and the executive arms of government, 
which has aided the delivery of dividends of democracy to equity people. He gave a review of the 2020 budget. Mr. Speaker, permit me to acknowledge with profound gratitude the symbiotic productive partnership between the legislative and executive arms of our government in Ekiti State, which has been cordially wonderful. I'd also like to thank the good people of Ekiti State for the trust and confidence reposed in me to steer the ship of our dear state even at this perilous time. The 2020 budget, Christine, the budget of deliverables with a size of 124 billion, 724 million, 869,355 Naira 95 Kobo only was presented to the Ekiti State House of Assembly on 7 November 2019. The 2020 appropriation bill was signed into law on 18 December 2019, and the 2020 budget was prepared based on oil price benchmark of $50 per barrel and an exchange rate of 305 Naira to the dollar. However, as you would all recall, the outbreak of the coronavirus, COVID-19, which dealt a debilitating blow on the global economy threatening severely the implementation of the 2020 budget. To stem the tide and rescue the alien economy, the 2020 budget was reviewed to reflect the economic realities as of then. The budget was reviewed downward to 91 billion, 128 million, 996 million, 482,001 cobble only. In spite of this downward review of the budget, it is imperative to highlight some notable achievements of this administration in spite of the numerous challenges that we faced as a government in 2020. We delivered substantially on some of our mandates by implementing some legacy programs and projects across the state in line with the five pillars of our administration. Some of the laudable projects completed in our infrastructure and industrial development agenda in 2020 are the Civic Center, the ultra-modern Ojaoba Market in Adwekiti, the Water Corporation Headquarters in Adwekiti, the rehabilitation of Ero Dam, the rehabilitation of Egwe Dam, the resuscitation of Ikundere through public-private partnership arrangement with Promacido Nigerian Limited, producers of cowbell milk, Completion of two out of the remaining four secretariat buildings. Completion of four new model colleges in Adwekiti, namely Ayofasomi, Model College in Loko in Woroko Road, Adwekiti. Banjia Kintoe, Model College, Ijon Road, Adwekiti. David Oke, Model College, Ikere Road, Adwekiti. And the Jifasuan Model College, Afao Road, Adwekiti. This is in addition to several other schools that were constructed and renovated through SUBE. Renovation of hospital buildings at the Kitty State University Teaching Hospital and primary health care centers across the state. Installation of a molecular laboratory at the Teaching Hospital in Adre Kitty. Renovation of our House of Assembly complex. About 50 community development projects carried forward from our last administration during our first term and completed and commissioned across the state. Recruitment of teachers, nurses, doctors, and civil servants. The governor then moved on to give the 2021 budget estimates. The budget proposal being presented today is a product of public consultation through town hall meetings held across the three senatorial districts in our state. The 2021 budget is aimed at speedy economic recovery and restoration from the debilitating impact of the coronavirus. 
based on global forecast, it is envisaged that the impact of the pandemic will span a period of two to three years. The 2021 budget, therefore, is designed to lift our people out of poverty, particularly now that we're seeing the debilitating impact of poverty, hunger, and anger in the land. It shall focus on empowerment and social security. Consequently, the budget has been Christine, budget of recovery and economic restoration. Right, Honorable Speaker, Mr. Honorable Members, my administration is of the candid opinion that the annual budget should be realistic with minimal variance. Consequently, considering the identified and identifiable sources of revenue, the 2021 budget document will channel the roadmap for government business in the year 2021 based on our realistic assessment of revenue projection. It is in this regard, Mr. Speaker, that we have proposed a budget size of 109,666,376,000 billion, million, naira, 61 cover only for the 2021 fiscal year. In the proposed 2021 budget, the sum of 57 billion, 900, and 97 million, 989,982 Naira, 62 Kobo, has been earmarked for recurrent expenditure of government. This represents, Mr. Speaker, 53% of the total budget. I want to state categorically that enough provision has been made in the 2021 budget to implement the new minimum wage. Aside the cost of running day-to-day -day business of ministries, departments, and agencies, my administration has made provisions for our people in the areas of security, sensitization, empowerment programs, and social security schemes to improve their standard of living and ensure job creation. In capital expenditure, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members of the House of Assembly, and my highly esteemed leaders, we are all aware that the live wire of any economy lies in its drive to implement valuable developmental projects, which will attract investors, thus improving the gross domestic product. It is in this regard that we're proposing an amount of 51 billion, 668 million, 386,739 naira, 99 kobo, as capital expenditure in the draft 2021 budget, and this represents 47% of the entire 2021 budget estimate. I urge the Honourable House to give thorough and timely consideration to the passage of the revenue and expenditure estimate to enhance honest implementation. It is therefore, Mr. Speaker, with great pleasure and deep sense of responsibility that I lay before this Honourable Assembly the 2021 Budget Estimate of the Kitty State, which has been Christine Budget of Recovery and Economic Restoration. God bless Ekiti State. God bless Nigeria. Alali Ekiti. Agri Hau. standing at 47% of the budget estimates, Equity State is no doubt in for more development strides in the year ahead, inching closer to that state to work, live and play as envisioned by Mr. Gardner. We can only look forward in open faith to a better year 2021. Still on welfare of the people, and more importantly, keeping to promises made, even in the face of unforeseen 
but limiting circumstances. Ekita State Teaching Service got a boost recently when about 600 new teachers joined the service. Governor Kari Defaimi was at the first of its kind induction program for the new teachers, where he placed the future of the students in their hands. is a further demonstration of the second segment of the knowledge economy pillar, which is human capital development, to demonstrate our commitment to the capacity development of all sectors in the public service. I urge you to be teachers and not cheaters, be role models and future models. If you are good, society will be good, but if you are bad, society will be bad. Our children are our future. They are our tomorrow, and they are now in your hands. Whatever you think of them is what tomorrow will be for our nation. The inputs will determine the outputs. Hence the need for you to impact positively on the lives of the children you are about to start teaching. I therefore enjoin you to sit up and be aligned to the responsibilities of holding the future of our children. I will plead with you to build the total child. You should place premium not only on academics, but also on moral. Let every child that passes through you come out better in learning and in sound character. I therefore enjoin you to commit yourself to diligence, to competence, to compassion, to character building, integrity in the teaching profession. Focal of this government is to restore our values. Normally, when you recruit new staff, they should be trained. This induction training is the bridge, the gap to fill the gap between the classroom and the field. I graduated from the University of Adok Nagashi University in the year 2012. Then 2013, 2014, I went for my and national service NYC. So since then I've been looking for a job. So when I heard about uh, an advert, first come advert, I was like, just let me apply, let me try. And I tried my best to just put in to apply. I wrote the exam and when the result was out, I checked it and I saw 70. I was interviewed and unexpectedly I just received a message on my phone. And I'm so grateful to God Almighty and even to this government. I'm so grateful to God and for our governor, Governor Fayemi, Dr. Fayemi, for granting us this opportunity to be among uh, the people that will earn salary and that will work for the state. And we are so grateful for his admonishment yesterday. He was here with us at the orientation, I mean, uh, orientation here yeah, ground. And he told us that uh, the future of AKT children are in our hands. Yeah, we are well equipped now, right now, because everything we've been hearing since yesterday is just like uh, retraining and in form of uh, re-emphasizing our values, what we need to do. We are so prepared to face uh, the challenge ahead in the field of our discipline in various schools that we, are, we will be posted to. I thank God Almighty and Governor fire me now for his effort. For me to be one of the newly appointed teacher in the Kitty State today. And I was one of the about 20,000 applicants. But I appreciate our dear governor, Dr. John Kawadi Fayemi. He based the selection on merit. There is no political coloration. In fact, I don't know that it's going to be like this. Because my colleague that was an uh, employer from the uh, past uh, government, I'm not sure that they, they, they do, they do the, the kind of this program for them. So much to look forward to in the coming years as Ekita begins to harvest the fruits of this worthy human capital investment. This is where we draw the curtain on this week's episode. To join us for a fresh package next week, you can watch past episodes of the program on our YouTube channel, Ekiti On The Move. You may also want to reach us 
on our social media platforms displayed on your screen. Thanks for watching and goodbye.